All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Uh, for our next deck, which is going to be Mono Black Zombies. So, so far we played this one other time, and to pretty good success. We actually uh, kind of ground uh, grind down some control decks with it and everything, and so let's give it another try. I've played a, f a few games, a few matches with the deck off stream as well here, and have been pleasantly surprised by it also. Uh, we're not really going to want to be playing against like Mono Red. Uh, that's not like something we're going to want to be playing against, but the slower the deck, the better for us. Um, but yeah, we have we have just some zombies here. So Drillbit is a big addition to this deck. Oops, and I guess I just accidentally got rid of a Drillbit. Let's make it four again. There we go. It's a really nice addition to the deck that's just kind of good against everybody because we have our 12 one-drop zombies. So, well, I guess these things aren't zombies. We have our 12 one-drops on that we can uh, get on the battlefield quickly with them and... Uh, be able to turn on Spectacle pretty easily. It's not too difficult to be able to do that. While Stitcher Supplier in particular, but then also Diagraph Ghoul, uh, these are like a little bit weaker creatures, even Gutter Bones just only being a 2-1. They're kind of weak, but then we have Death Barons that get to pump them up. And it's really nice that Death Barons pump up Skeletons as well, give them all plus one, plus one, and Death Touch, so it makes the opponent not want to block them. That's another way to be able to get the, the drill bit turned on there. Um, and, uh, besides that, we have some self-milling, uuh, synergies going on. We have Stitcher Supplier and Liliana Untouched by Death that, that both self-mill us. And what we do with our self-milling is we can get extra creatures for Graveyard Marshal to be able to exile, to be able to make some other, uh, zombie tokens. We can use Liliana's minus three to be able to cast a bunch of zombies from our graveyard if we have a bunch of them in our graveyard. Uh, during a specific turn and I also kind of have have these creeping chills these were in um, our original deck that even though I sideboarded out probably against everybody I still kind of like it and I st still kind of like them in the main deck they just kind of provide a little extra reach so Liliana's uh, tick up can provide some reach so can creeping chill I don't know it's, it's kind of nice so the hope is to not really draw the Creeping Chills and to mill them over with Supplier or Liliana and just get some free free points of damage and lifelink in without uh, you know, having to pay for it. So that's when it's at its best. If you, you, know, if you get it for free ever off of Liliana and Citrus Supplier, it's awesome. Having, drawing it, having it in your hand, not as awesome, but we'll kind of see. So nope, no Ruin Raider here. Uh, What is going on? Well, that was weird. So let's go ahead and give it a try while I try to figure out how to get Twitch back, Twitch chat back. My dashboard just suddenly stopped working. Dashboard just suddenly stopped working. Okay, looks like I got it working again. All right, good hand. We got triple one drop. Because we are an aggro deck, so it's, you know, we got our suppliers out there because they are just one drops also that just get to be out there. And so we got our triple one drop to start out um, pretty aggressively. We'll see if our suppliers get to... We'll see if the supplier hits any creeping chills. That'd be nice. Now we are a zombie deck, so that's why we're not playing cards like Ruin Ra Raider, Spawn of Mayhem, all that kind of stuff. Could certainly see taking out, like, if if we do move away from creep, Creeping Chills, something like Spawn of Mayhem could be a good addition. No, the Death Baron. Death Baron's a card I want to draw.
I really want to draw that Death Baron. Hey, good job, King Toll. Yeah, Girl Spellbreaker is definitely a good card. Hmm. Well, dang. Can we beat a history banalia? Possibly not. Oh, Benelish Marshall? Ugh. No reason to chump block this turn when next turn our opponent's gonna have a lot bigger creatures. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. All right, so how, do they want to kill Liliana or not? They can send everything at Liliana and kill Liliana. Then I just don't have to block. And this is like a key turn with our history, Benalia. Not having to block. We're only at 22 land deck, so it's a little unlucky getting to, getting six lands here. So that's a little unlucky for us. Damn, I was hoping to get some more creeping chills. That's another good draw. Benelish Marshall and the Venerate Luxodon, those are two good draws. Those are two good draws. I have mastered death. Alright, we need Death Baron. To be able to trade with our creatures. And we'll just get some suppliers, try to get some creeping chills. Creeping chill. All right, drill bit's a good card to mill over anyway. Also, dang, we're not finding any. I value moral flexibility. Still no creeping chills. I am glad they are attacking with their 4-4 here, so I do get to kill the Midnight Reaper. So I, need, I do need to kill this thing. Alright, so we're at 2. Open the graves! Open the graves. There's a chill. All right, to make sure I don't self mill myself too much, I guess. That's 15 cards. I should probably stop doing those. Let's see. Let's get. No, not you. Actually, I, I probably will want you. They need two permanents to turn on Aspirant to kill us. Let's have some fun.
Is it better to kill the Benelish Marshal or the Healer's Hawk? Oh, is it better to kill? Spade and Hawk? Okay. Oh, I didn't want to talk with the Death Baron. Oh, thank you for not blocking. Whew. Could have certainly blocked with that Death Baron, and that would have been bad. <clears throat> Alright, so Marshall unfortunately makes tapped zombies. So I do need to just go chump chump. Make a tap zombie. I'll get rid of a Midnight Reaper. <clears throat> so I was just... That's why I didn't get Gutter Buns back because I was going to be activating that. All right, we got there. <clears throat> That's game. Didn't look good for us for a little bit there. Creeping Chill gave us just enough life. Just enough life. All right, so let's get Ritual of Soots and Cast Downs in here. And take out Drill Bit. So how good Liliana Untouched by Death is. Liliana was great that game. <clears throat> Thanks, Dutch. Drillbit's good at taking, like, Conclave Tribunal, but... I'm going to take one Reaper out. <clears throat> That uh, life loss could be pretty important. Well, I guess I have a moment of cravings probably for a reason. Do I just take out the creeping chills? Creeping chills are kind of it's kind of nice. I can stay so calm and just play twenty zombies in a turn. That's probably a, a downfall. I should probably be more, um, you know, outgoing and everything for, you know, for its stream sake and be more rah rah and everything. No, it's not really me, though. Um, I mean, Contempt is expensive. Maybe I'll just take out Contempt. Yeah, I'll just have Moment of Craving replace Contempt. There we go. Cool, I can keep it real. I can do that. I will keep because Ritual Set is great. the bodyguard the bodyguard keeps their creature alive through soot no not my Liliana Liliana's my best card as we saw last game Liliana no <clears throat> so if I attack with Gutter Bones and then they end up having Benelish Marshall, then they get to like attack back. All 
All right, so I'm certainly attacking with Supplier. Maybe Gutter Bones, too. Maybe I just attack with Gutter Bones. Yeah. Because then I could see them... If they're not playing anything that last turn, they could certainly have, like, Conclave Tribunal for the Reaper here. We need to stop drawing lands. Whoa. A Danto Vanguard in the Aggro Mirror? Well, they, they have a either Tribunal or Luxodon. They're tapping their things. It's Tribunal. Attack. I'll block. Attack. Attack. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dang. Unfortunately, we drew land number seven. Ugh. Creeping chills. Let's get some chills. What if we hit triple chill? Hit him down to four. Dang, no chills. Nah. Next turn, Chill can just trigger the Gutter Bones, though. So that's kind of cool. Ooh. Paying for life. All right, down to seven. That's a good card. Let's play the Graveyard Marshal, because I can get some zombies and everything. Our opponent, I could see our opponent blocking, or like paying the life with Vanguard. I could see our opponent paying life here. Wow. Our opponent looks like a madman. They are a madman. No mercy. Dude, just, just chill. Just chill. You got too many, too much stuff out here. I think you need to chill. Ooh, do you think our opponent was expecting the creeping chill to kill him? Probably not. Probably not. All right, Mono Black Zombies, picking up a win. Yeah, they needed that extra creature. Absolute madman. That was crazy. Whew, I'm surprised that worked. I am surprised that they actually paid the life and we actually got to kill somebody with Creeping Chill. Have you killed anybody with Creeping Chill in Standard recently? What about you, Hawkeye? You haven't? What? What are you doing? Why are you not killing people with Creeping Chill? It's pretty fun. Well, Liliana's great. Yeah, we're on the draw. We, we don't have that many lands in our deck. I think we'll draw some other creatures. Liliana is really good. 
<clears throat> what non-corset card do you wish wasn't rotating? Oh no, mirror match. Okay, a little different. This is just likely a bad keep. I just like Liliana so much. Um, no, I won't be playing Jun Priest again today. I am uploading the Jun Priest video to YouTube currently. If you'd like to check it out there a little later. Uh, I wish a Johnny wasn't rotating. Wait, that's a Corset card. Um, Angrath. Angrath's cool. Okay, this was a really bad keep. <laughs> if I knew that I was drawing nothing but lands the first three turns, I would not keep this hand at all. You know, it's open to be able to fill out the the curve a little bit. Before I make you disappear. Everyone is expendable. What is my <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Wow, we didn't even get to even hit a zombie. So our one zombie we've seen so far is the Stitcher Supplier. I didn't mind Escanta too much. I kind of liked Escanta until Wilderness Reclamation. Now I'm not going to miss Escanta at all. Sacrifices must be made. Good thing our opponents kind of have has nothing going on. That's good for us. Wow, because we certainly have nothing going on either. Into the grave with you. I guess I should probably just get the gutter bones back there and play the gutter bones. Yeah, I should have just played the gutter bones last Wipe turn. That smug look off your face. It was probably going to die. Anyway. Unfortunately, this Vraska is going to ultimate and kill us. Yeah, if I, if I would have played the Gutter Bones last turn, I could have two blockers for a Vraska ultimate. We have two mana. Can't really do anything with two mana. Oh, maybe they don't they don't actually ultimate. One person's trash is another woman's army. No, I haven't been playing other games lately, no. Well, the, the question was non-corset card, so that's, that's why I didn't say Nicol Bolas. The question said, the question was what non-corset card? Alright, so this is not a matchup for Drill Bit. They could still ultimate. They're, Liliana's at 10, ultimate is 9. If I kill their blocker and have Stitcher Supplier attack Liliana, that doesn't help me. Uh, 
So we'll play just a couple cast downs, a couple Lilian or a couple ritual of sets. Here. That was a risky keep that ended up major backfiring. Our opponent's hand wasn't even that good. We have drawn... We have been, like, just flooding out really bad in our 22 land deck. You know, surprisingly bad. You know, all of our hands have, have had, like, four lands in them. We don't need four lands. Well, I guess we need four lands for Liliana. We don't need a fifth. I'll wait till next turn before I attack. And offer a trade. Let's get this Midnight Reaper down. Midnight Reaper is definitely a good draw. See, Creeping Chills just kind of do something. They're kind of nice in the deck. You know, our opponent's at 15, we're at 23. They're not, like, wonderful or anything, but... It's kind of nice. Like I said, we did kill our opponent with a Creeping Chill last match, I suppose. Better our opponent, which they had Creeping Chills right about now. So much milling. Alright, you mill three, you mill three, I mill three, I draw two, yes. Alright, do they have Lotless Giant turned on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, no Lotless Giant. Choop. That's rude. Did not keep Choop. You don't get squeamish on me. Okay. We'll put them down to nine. I don't really care that they get to attack Liliana. I'm just gonna be taking up the Lilianas and trying to drain them and you know, drain them with creeping chills and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's like that Plants vs. Zombies game, except there's no plants. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. There's a Creeping Chill. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. I do want to minus three the Liliana. Later on. Could put the Gutter Bones back in hand and play Gutter Bones, but then I'm like priced into having Graveyard Marshal block Playcrafter. This game 
It's just gotten really choppy all of a sudden. Um... All right, let's see if we find our other two creeping chills. We have not yet. Still have not yet. Not a very good Liliana minus. That might have ended up being better as just a, a Liliana tick up and contempt at that point. Down to five. In what I value moral flexibility. All right, they're down to two. And next turn we can kill him with this creeping chill. No. That was not part of my plan. That was not part of my plan. Well. Find the way nothing too fast. Scared. Can't really self mill myself anymore. Why is computer? Why are you not working? What is going on? <clears throat> that whole gain eleven life thing. Not so good for me, because I'm down to nine cards in library. I, I don't know what's up with the, the stream or why it's lagging like this, I don't know. I cannot cast that thing. We just need this to hit any zombie or creeping chill. <laughs> I Ooh, have last card was a zombie. Alright, we creeping chilled our opponent again for the win. That was close. Crowl foragers, huh? Play some. Guess I could play drill bits. Try to take foragers from them. Their hand. I 
I'll play those over the ritual sets. Maybe we just don't need set. My opponent was worried about... They didn't want to hit Stitcher to mill me because they were worried about uh, Creeping Chill. Alright, this can be a pretty good curve. We get another land where we can go, you know, one drop, two drop, Death Baron. Don't like having the Creeping Chill in my hand and or this four mana removal spell. Don't really like those two, but uh, first five are pretty strong. We'll go ahead and keep it. All right, let me get this John Priest image for YouTube up. Clear out some tabs. Graveyard Marshal, because next turn we can potentially double spell with the drill bit and Diagraph Ghoul. Uses our mana better. Garth Reaper, sub number 11 on the day for the 11th month as well. Perfect timing. Thank you so much, Garth Reaper. I really do appreciate that. So much for us drawing a lot of lands all these games. All right, Death Baron or Drill Bit? I kind of want to cast this Drill Bit right now. I kind of want to just... just yeah, I think I'm just going to do... Uh, what am I scared of? Four man, I'm scared of, like, Chupacabra killing my Death Baron. Hmm. No, I'll go Baron. A little surprised they didn't have Squire trade with Gutter Bones there. A little surprised. There's Choop. Alright, no find finality or nothing like that. Not you, Death Baron. Yeah, they can have Cast Down here. Kill the ghoul. That's alright. Double Eldest Reborn, huh? Alright, draw some crappy spell. Not a land. A find finality? That's not a crappy spell. I wanted a crappy spell. Find finality is good. Uh, I guess my opponent's playing Elvish Reborn to try to have like another way to get Foragers back maybe? No, that's about all I got. Hmm. I 
What if I attack with Death Baron also? They take seven and go to five. No. You know, they double blocked the Death Baron that was. I mean. Mm. Ugh. We just need a land. Or a removal spell. Cast down would have would have done it also. So even if they just play another Eldritch Reborn, we're going to be attacking for lethal. They have to have a Foragers. They're saying good game, though, so I'll say good game back. Ugh. I wanted to kill them with Creeping Chill again. We've killed so many opponents with Creeping Chill. But we didn't draw our fourth land for that but still mono black zombies tearing it up two and oh we are crushing it with zombies here two and oh right. yeah three lands still win Yeah, we'll keep this. That drill bit was so timely, taking their foragers that, that last game. Real timely drill bit. So this turn we got Marshall on two, uh, drill bit plus Marshall on three. No, it's not being coming a thing. Our opponent was just playing... Like, it's a thing in the Golgari Graveyard deck. And that's what our opponent was playing, was the Golgari Graveyard deck. That's like the only only place where it's a thing. Like now creeping chill has to be milled over from your library to your to your graveyard, not from your hand. So if it's put into your graveyard from your library, you can't just discard it and have it be lethal. Like you know, or sorry, like the that last turn when there are three. You can't just discard it and have it deal three. Creeping Chill was the worst card that we could draw here, though, uh, against Esper Control. This is not a card that we want at all in our in our hand against Esper Control. Hey, Thought Erasure Bug. Really hope we draw land, get to this Liliana. Play that thing. Yeah, they're looking at the creeping chill like, what is what is that? Ooh, no land. Gonna mortify, let me draw a card. Same thing, land. Ugh, no land. Alright, so either I activate Marshall. No, I'm. I'm going in. 
could activate Marshall to make... Like, this is a lot worse against Kaya's Wrath. But they have to, you know, draw an untapped white source, which is probably all their white sources, and also have Kaya's Wrath. Gross. Gain two life? Gross. No wrath. No! Don't do it, don't do it. Whew! Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Boom. All right. Getting ready for game two. Get all these dresses in. And... Yeah, this is not a creeping chill matchup. And if it's not a creeping chill matchup, that means it's not a supplier matchup. But that means I need four more cards. I guess this is a banner matchup. And Spyglass. And Elvis Reborn. I mean, I guess I have, that's why I have these cards in my deck. See if we can get another one. Kind of felt like we stole that game one without ever being able to play our Liliana. Would Playcrafter be a better choice than Eldest? It would certainly be easier to cast. Eldest has a lot higher upside, uh, you know, having all three of the chapters and everything. All right, good. We're not. We don't have our Liliana in hand, so we can draw it after they thought erasure us. That's smart. No! Not draw it yet! Next turn, Liliana. Not not this turn. Uh, that means the player... So what does the player counter thing on Sun Cleanser mean? Nothing. Basically no, nothing in standard. So just don't, don't worry about it. In other formats, there's ways to get... Players can get counters in other formats. Nothing in standard. Saxophone... What? Rude. That's not a very good hand. I want Well, they aren't useful to me alive. All right, we did not drain them. Kaya. I'll phase through anything that stands in my way. There goes my gutter bones. Kaya's the anti Liliana. One person's trash is another woman's army. Where you at, Kaya? I cannot allow you to continue to continue there. Sorry. All right, so we milled over two lands. That's kind of good. So we got the the zombie to trigger the Liliana, and then two lands. Don't get squeamish on me. I should probably just keep the swamp in hand. So maybe they cast Thought Erasure or something. So right now I have a Graveyard Marshal and a Death Baron.
Into the grave with you. Wow. A whole lot more lands. All right, so that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of the 22 lands. This isn't a fight you can win. All right, so that can tuck the spyglass. I named Kaya with Spyglass because Kaya's been out for a long time. Not so fast. I have to send those away. The smell, ew. Hmm. We got a Death Baron and a Graveyard Marshal. So four, seven, I can attack him for seven. This is hardly my worst defeat. Just your wait. <laughs> wait till you see what I've got planned for you. All right, Spyglass is out here. So is the banner and another land. 15 of our lands. <laughs> Opponent with mono lands also. Ah, I feel like my old self again. All right, I'm just going to get my two zombies. This attack will put them to seven. Or sorry, it'll deal seven to put them down to two so that even if they draw Kai's Wrath, and sweep the board. One Liliana tick up will win it for us. Yeah, that was a this was a huge flood here, both on my side and the opponent's side. Good thing Liliana really won us that game. I mean, did it really win us this that game? It's kind of my opponent not having anything. Three and O. Oh. It did get a it did a great job of getting past a bunch of junk, that's for sure. We would have just drawn so many lands if we weren't milling them over. Alright, three and oh. Mono black zombies. No, no field of ruin in the deck. The only colorless land we have is one copy of Cabal Stronghold. Uh, yeah. Let's draw a two drop here. That'd be sweet. Or a one drop. No, not a creeping chill. Not a creeping chill. Not against Watery Grave. Well. We're certainly boarding out those creeping chills in this matchup, so that was not a couple good draws for us there. <laughs> Main deck, cry the Carnarium? Are you kidding me? Right, they better not have a contempt. <laughs> I have uh, a deliciously morbid idea. Land, land, drill bit. That doesn't drain them. Until a curious choice. And then another land. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. All right, there's some zombies. Now we have. Four duress and four drill bit. We don't need to play. We don't need to splash blue for negate.
I know what you need to slow down. Oh, say hello to my little friend. That's a good curve. Thought Erasure, turn two, Cry the Carnarium three, Karn four, Teferi five. That is strong. All right, game two. Aww. Okay, we need your luck. We're down a game with our zombies. No cry. All right, I'd like to draw more zombies so that, you know, if they do have Kai's Wrath here, our ban, you know, we're playing banner. All right, no Kaiserath. I will fight for my friends. So, do I want to contempt that or play banner? <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Zombie. There is always another fight. Stronghold could be pretty nice if we draw some zombies. You know what? I'm not done yet. Skeleton warrior. What? I'm known for my excellent timing. You need to take a time out. So we're going to hit him down to one. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Which is close to lethal, but not quite. Hopefully opponent's dead. No. Uh. And they kept whatever card on top really quickly. It's gotta be a good card. So close. I thought we had it. At least we've gotten rid of two Teferis and a Karn. I 
I gotta play around syncopate. Nice, good form, good form. Stop having that card. Well, Kai's Wrath is a little obnoxious, so we we really want to draw Liliana. Reaper helps. Where's Liliana? Nope. Wow. Deck, why are you doing this? 11 lands? That's half of our lands and 20 cards. And then basically the, their best possible, with me having Spyglass on to Fairy, their best possible draw step was Search for Escanta. Escanta is just going to finish this game up. So we are three and one. Unfortunately, so close. There. But just flooded out real hard. Drawing 11 lands like that. And the 22 land deck. So three and one, hopefully we can pick up another one. Not go 3 2. That was the first time I've lost to Esper. Last stream, we were either 2 0 or 3 0. Last time we played this deck against Esper, uh, we beat Esper before this. Um, and I was 1 0 against Esper in just like some, some ranked matches that I just kind of played off stream. That was my first time losing to Esper. That had to happen. You have to lose eventually. Yeah, that's true. Both keeps were four landers. All right, we got Esper again. Our guy's kind of like in my way. I'm trying to look around him. I'm pretty sure our opponent could have found some way to win. I don't think that they were out of win conditions or anything. And and you said if I could deal with like a Kaya. I mean, how was I going to deal with a Kaya whenever they were just getting like a counter spell every single turn, kind of thing? Like I I couldn't deal with anything. They don't have lots of cards in hand. So if they're shocking here. They gotta have Chemister's Insight. So do we think they have a Counterspell too? Do we think that I could resolve a Liliana? So even if I don't, it does keep them from Chemister's, in chemister's Insighting this turn. Come on, resolve. Ooh, resolves. I'm not just feared. I'm risen. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Can we get some creeping chills? Kill our opponent? Maybe my sideboard plan just isn't good and I should just stick with the game one of just suppliers and creeping chills.
one person's trash Dang, is I another just got... woman's army. If I would have hit a zombie and a creeping chill there, it would have been game. Now absorb is kind of messy. All right, not absorb. Oh yeah, Argyle's blood fast on the board. That could be better. I don't think I really, I don't know if I really like the banner. Banner's like something I'm kind of trying out. Ooh, that's pretty risk, risky. They took that attack with Dire Fleet. Or Diagraph Ghoul and everything last turn. The banner is something I'm kind of trying now, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Cast a Kaiser Wrath and die? No. Did not kill the opponent. Alright, how many supplier or yeah, suppliers do we have in here? Just one right now? Two? Three? Whoa, that's a lot of suppliers. Alright, we can self-mill a ton here. Witness my power. All we need is just one one of our other creeping chills. There's one. Creeping chill. Get it done. So usually like the game goes long and I don't want to like self mill myself a bunch. I don't know. Dress comes in. I'm not sold on these cards, though. And the Spyglass has got to be pretty good. I'm not sold on Reborn and Banner, though. The problem is, like, Lyra. Probably should have... I mean, I guess I'll just do this. Keep Cheeping Krill? <laughs> Keep Creeping Chill. Sorry. Oh yeah, I could certainly go that long to email yourself out, absolutely. I just play chill over banner. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have two chills over the banners. It's pretty tough for the banners to actually work. Moment of craving and cast down. I'll take the moment. That gains him two life. No, I wanted to take that card. Rip off. I want that card. Take creeping chill. Creeping chill. Creeping chill. Creeping chill. Creeping chill. Uh, Reaper down. Attack. Escant is a little annoying. Attack. 
attack. Wow. So they just have Kai's Wrath in hand? Alright. Negate. <laughs> We're gonna lose this Esper person playing Negate because Escanta is br busted. Down to one. Yeah, it's Lightning Helix that just goes upstairs. Whiff. 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 It's a fairy. It's kind of a whiff. That looks, looks like a whiff. Creeping Chill get there? Our opponent's like, how am I losing to Creeping Chill? So, we still have Lethal Through Absorb. Do not have Lethal Through Contempt. Dang it, Contempt. Still naming Teferi uh, over Ascanta, because Ascanta takes out, you know, three of their other five lands to activate. No, we didn't need a land here, deck. Just needed anything to deal damage. Come on. Wow. The, yeah, that's the other thing about name. If I name as Kanta, they just play. They can play Teferi and tuck the Spyglass. All right, I need Liliana. I need Liliana. Liliana or Creeping Chill. We got five draws that we need. Liliana or Creeping Chill? No, not a guy yet. Uh, Didn't see a door, so now I we just need Creeping in. Chill. As Kanta is so busted. Honey, that's what I do. Oh, I'll take that thing, I guess. Vanished. Funny, that's what I do. All right, get that out of here. I should honestly wait here. I'm just not patient at all right now, but I should wait for them to you know go to end step, have them act like they'll activate their Ascanta at end step, and then in response, contempt there, so they can't just find a counter spell. All right, looks like we're going to game three. Thought we were going to get this. The Spyglass just hasn't really been helping us. I mean, it, it is. Like, if they had Teferi, it would be, like, really dead. We do just keep flooding out. The problem with... So Eldest Reborn, the reason why I want that card is because of Lyra. Now 
Now, I'm sure they have something else in their deck to kill us besides Teferi. Yeah, Argo's Bloodfast could be okay. The problem with Argo's Bloodfast in this matchup is just Mortify. I'm going to keep it the same. I'm not going to take out a land on the play. I guess on the draw, that's a that's a that's certainly a potential. That could be something like with this match that goes longer uh, on the draw. On the play, it's kind of too risky to go under 22 when I do want to hit four lands because I, I want to be able to get to Liliana. I could see you doing that on the draw, though, cutting a land. Yeah, and they probably have Lyra in their deck. Like, I, I would think they'd have Lyra in their deck. As far as, like, a different win condition besides the fairy. So, yeah, honestly, I maybe just should not be playing the Spyglass. It's another four-lander. I'm not... I like, you know, I like these one-drops. I don't want to ship this. Let's draw spells. Come on, deck. Get us some spells. You wouldn't think the 22 lands we'd have trouble of drawing spells as much. There you go. Good job, deck. Midnight Reaper works. That's a spell. No. Not a land. They have Cry of the Carnarium. Very sad. Looks like we may lose to Esper twice now. Our best, our, our best card, of course, is just Liliana. That's our best card. And as you can tell, something that's been in common of the, these games that we've been losing to Esper is we've had zero Lilianas. That has been the the main thing all these, these games that we're losing to Esper have in common. Us not having a Liliana anywhere. We also have eight discard spells between four duress and four drill bit. I don't know. I think this matchup's good for us. It's just hasn't been here. I'm very finished with this. If I was taking out a land, by the way, Cabal Stronghold would have been the land that I would have taken out. If that was... That was the, that's the land to take out, by the way. If you're taking a land out. Well, I still like mono black zombies, but I like it a lot more whenever we have reasonable hands and everything. And curve out and all that kind of stuff. Had four of our last six games be pretty disappointing there, but that's all right. <laughs> go to 19 swamps no it's just kind of some bad luck there the cry of the canarium was awesome we didn't have any of our eight discard spells to take it or the four lilianas to follow up so i just had lands and then like you know we have three we have three removal spells there after sideboarding with two contempts and one eldest reborn and we had two of those three with with the contempt and the reborn, and then just lands. So 
I would. I do not want more than one cabal. It's so hard to actually have cabal work. I would. I would much rather have zero cabals than two cabals, and I would probably think this deck should just have zero cabals in general. You have to have four swamps already in play before Cabal Stronghold does anything. No, you have to have five swamps in play before it does anything. At four swamps, it's just even. So you have to have five swamps in play before Cabal Stronghold does anything. Most of the, like, that just doesn't happen very often. So most of the time, this Cabal Stronghold is just like annoying and doesn't cast like your Graveyard Marshal or like these things and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, it was an unfortunate end to a fun deck and a fun league. And as far as sideboard goes, the Spyglass did not look that good in those games because we just didn't have other things. Uh, the banners, um, I think, are probably too hard to pull off. So maybe just like things like Bloodfast that we were talking about, maybe some Bloodfast there or uh, maybe something else, maybe... I'm not sure. I don't know. We could have some other things there. Yeah, I don't know exactly where where to go with some extra cards there. If you want some more things against control, maybe just keeping Stitcher Supplier and Creeping Chill in the deck. Maybe just not sideboarding so much. Just having like the four duress in, and not bringing nearly as much stuff against control. Um, Argles instead of Banner. Esper's usually pretty good against Argles with Mortify, but I guess it does force them to have the Mortify there for it. Yeah, that's that's probably that's probably just better though. I think that's better than Banner, because even like at four mana, you can just play Argles and immediately draw a card, kind of thing, and keep it going. Yeah, I think I think just Bloodfast for Banner. Yeah, I like that change. Yeah, I do like that change, because Banner is too tough. I think that's a good update. Um, so there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.